Basically, the next level is the bent over row is basically an RDL that you're yes. isometrically holding, but now you're you're introducing another movement. It's a static that, RDL hold. Yeah, with arm <laughs> with, movement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good way to think about it, actually, because a lot of people I see here, I'm always like, get your chest a little bit more par parallel to the ground because when people get lazy, they're here, and then they start doing like a fly. Yeah. I don't know why, but it ends up turning into a bent over fly instead of, instead of a bent over row. So yeah. how I've been explaining it here is when you have those weights, instead of them falling down by your outside of your knees and pulling up, I'm having them come out a little bit here, spine is neutral, and then bringing the elbows back, squeezing at the top, and then fully extending. So they have to keep their body in this position here, because if they come up, then it turns into this which we, we see. Yeah, the only thing I would just be careful on with some people mm -hmm. is if they do have a sensitive low back, having the weight out in front here will dramatically increase Well, we always the say load. go light, get yeah. your form, because another thing is people go way too heavy with these movements, and then say they're here, they're doing this. Yeah. They can't get that full range of motion. So I'm like, go lighter, squeeze, okay, at the top, and then extend because again, you'll have the guys in here that want to grab the 45s. Yeah. And then they're like this. <sighs> yeah. Like they'll bring their chest up to get that momentum. And we don't want that momentum. Yeah, with the RDL, and momentum is good for certain things. Like if you're if you're in a power sport and you're looking at doing cleans, there's value in that for right. explosion. But if you're looking for hypertrophy and just raw strength. We want to keep everything time stable. Time under tension, slow it down. We yeah. speak time under tension a lot at ISI. So it is slowing down the movement, going a little bit lighter so you get great reps. Yeah. Whether that's 10 great reps or eight great reps, we are in the lower rep range. Yeah. And yes, we do power some days, but for the most part, it's strictly strength training. Yeah, it depends on the control. exercise. Yeah. Yeah. So, so with this, some of the things that I like to look at with, with this one is you're, that hinge is the same no matter which movement you're doing. Yep. You're here. Ground those feet into the ground. Really squeeze the glutes. Keep the core real tight. And then pretend like you're balancing a glass of wine on your back. Ooh, wine. And then from here, <laughs> the best. <laughs> and then from here, what you're going to do is your hands are like hooks. Yep. So instead of pulling here or pulling out like that, these are just hooks for the weight and you're driving with your elbows, squeezing your shoulder mm -hmm. blades back. And then when you come down, get that stretch in the upper back, but keep everything from the rib cage down should be like an immovable object, just maintaining absolute stability. And all the movement there, elbows, back, squeeze, squeeze the shoulder blades and then slow release. The thing is like a lot of these bodybuilders or a lot of these people that are super athletic, they don't lift super heavy weight. Right. But it's just because really getting that mind muscle connection. That's what it is, 100%. Makes a, makes a bigger difference yep. in the amount of weight you're lifting. Especially in, in an ISI workout, we don't have a ton of heavy weights. We have one set of 40s, one set of 45s. Our programming is designed, so we're going time under tension, yep. a little bit lighter on the weights. We have sessions that have 32, 36 people in here, so ideally, yeah, if we're at a Planet Fitness, we can go five sets of five and we can increase our weight as we go, but we're not set up like that. So yeah. the time under tension, the mind-muscle connection is key for members to understand. You can go lighter on the weight and get 12 awesome reps with a 15-pound weight, whereas maybe your max weight you could use for reps is 25 or 30 pounds. Um, but ideally in a situation like we have an ISI, um, Lighter weights, good quality time under tension, mind-muscle connection. That is another thing. Mind-muscle connection, we do speak about that a lot. Mm -hmm. Getting a member to understand, what does that actually mean? Um, I use the terminology sometimes, I'm like, close your eyes, visualize your body moving, and with no distractions, sometimes it helps you understand, okay, am I pulling those elbows back? Um, am I squeezing at the top? Is my spine flat? Just by visualizing what your body is doing, yeah. it'll help through movement. Um, I think a good to a really good cue for is the weight right for you. If you're coaching somebody, then being able to stop that movement at any point during the rep and have control over yeah. it. Because if you have the weight here and you're 
you're like that. Yeah, which you, we see a lot. You, you don't have control over it to stop. But yep. if you're like here, okay, stop. Okay, yep. pause there. Which we do. Pause there. You've seen pause us, there. we're like, hold it halfway. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Rep it out. Hold it. Rep it out. Time yeah. retention. Let's add a tempo. Three seconds down, one second up with a two second pause. We do coach a lot to tempo here too. So yes, that is a great point because if your weight is too heavy, you're not going to be able to do those tempos. Yeah. That's where you're going to start to kind of not be able to talk and breathe and focus and hold. Um, so yes, that is a that's a great cue for in regards to weight and body position. And so I know we talked about having control over the weights at any point in the movement. The one exercise, the last one we're talking about is almost the opposite where there's a large portion of the yeah, movement the that you can't stop yeah. in the middle of the movement. You don't this, want to stop it. No, but this is a true explosive <laughs> yeah. exercise. Which is also a hinge, so it all adds in together.